How's it going everyone? I am Conchinsula and welcome to another Pokemon Go Raid Guide video. Today we're going to talk about how you can defeat Tapu Lele and collect its shiny form. This boss is not necessarily useful, but its shiny form is a new one and will likely be a collector's item. I'm going to be explaining all of this in this video, so let's roll the intro and get right into it. Okay, let's go over Tapu Lele. So this Psychic and Fairy type legendary Pokemon from the Alola region is not necessarily that impactful as a Pokemon. It isn't considered a top Psychic type or Fairy type when it comes to raids, and you don't often see it in the Go Battle League. However, one day, it could possibly get either Charm or Fairy Win. That would actually push this Pokemon into a more A tier category. Thus, if you end up getting a really good one, you might be holding on to a pretty good Pokemon in the future. But with that said, let's talk about how you can beat it as it currently is. Like I mentioned before, Tapu Lele is a Psychic and Fairy type Pokemon. It is weak against only three types, Ghost, Poison, and Steel. It has a double resistance to Dragon and Fighting type attacks, and a regular resistance to Psychic. Therefore, your aim should be to bring your absolute best of the best Ghost, Poison, and Steel types. The top counters you should consider bringing are Shadow Metagross first and foremost. These are currently available thanks to Shadow Beldum encounters being a reward for defeating Sierra. However, you will spend quite a lot of Stardust and Candy in order to get them to a high enough level. You will also need Shadow Metagross with Frustration removed, and with the Community Day move Meteor Mash. Therefore, this will be quite pricey in order for you to have the most ideal team. IVs don't matter too much on this Pokemon, since the Shadow Damage bonus is so high compared to even a perfect IV non-Shadow. The other counters you can bring include Mega Gengar and Mega Banet with Ghost type attacks. Both of these Mega Evolutions have a high amount of DPS. The only problem is that they do not provide a Mega Evolution damage bonus to Metagross. Thus, you may need to communicate with your fellow raiders and ask one of them to bring a Steel type Mega. Otherwise, there won't be too much synergy there. You could also bring Chandler with Ghost type moves in order to complement those Ghost type Mega Evolutions. That is always something to consider. Finally, you could also go the Poison route, bring Mega Beedrill as your Mega Evolution, and have a full team of high-level Nihilego. That is another avenue for you to dominate this raid boss. So, let's say you are lacking in resources, or you don't have a robust collection. Well, you could also consider bringing any of these budget counters. There's the three Mega Evolutions that I mentioned, but also regular Metagross with Bullet Punch and Meteor Mash. Regular Gengar is also still viable as well, considering its status as a glass cannon. Basically, just have your best ghost types, poison types, and steel types in your raid party. I would suggest making three teams each based on these types. You can kind of predict what attacks Tapu Lele will have through the recommended lineup. You can then pick whichever team will be resistant to that move. In total, you will need approximately 6 trainers who are at least level 35 in order to defeat this raid boss. If you want to challenge yourself, you could possibly defeat it as a trio, but you will need to bring the absolute best counters available. I would also suggest avoiding going up against Tapu Lele when it is weather boosted, unless it is cloudy. If that is the case, you will want to bring your squad of poison types as they will get boosted by cloudy weather as well. Speaking of weather boosts, the perfect IV combat points will be 1996 and 2496 if it is weather boosted. However, this is not necessarily a high priority Pokemon. Thus, if you don't end up getting the Hundo, don't worry about it. You will have plenty of opportunities to collect a Hundo Tapu Lele in the future. Maybe then, it will have charm in its moveset and will actually be useful. Okay, now that I covered how you can defeat Tapu Lele, let's talk about its shiny form. Like every other legendary Pokemon with a shiny, all you need to do in order to get it is to raid as much as you can. The shiny rate for legendary Pokemon in raids is currently set to around 1 in 20. That means you will have about a 5% chance that the Pokemon will be shiny when you encounter it. Doing as many raids as you can will increase your chances at picking up this shiny. However, do keep in mind that doing 20 or more raids will not guarantee you the shiny, even though it is at a 1 in 20 rate. I've said this before in countless other raid guide videos, but imagine you are rolling a 20 sided dice every time you defeat this raid boss. You might hit it lucky early and get this shiny after only a few raids, or it could take you several dozen. 
that's something you should keep in mind, and you should definitely curb your expectations. Overall, this is a fairly easy raid boss considering your sheer number of options, but the Pokemon itself is not really that good. Like I said before though, there is potential that Tapu Lele will be a top tier Pokemon in the future. That is going to be determined by whether or not Niantic gives it a better fast attack like Charm or Fairy Wind. In the meantime, however, it is probably a one and done raid boss. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Leave your thoughts regarding Tapu Lele down below in the comments. Do you have yourself a shiny Tapu Lele? Let me know and let's have a great discussion. And if you ended up enjoying this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if it's your first time here. And don't forget that little bell so you can stay up to date on whenever I upload videos. And I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons on Patreon. You make this channel content possible. If you want to support my channel in any way, big or small, then be sure to check out the links in the description below. For all my patrons, they get a permanent spot on my in-game friends list. So if you want to interact with me in some way, like with remote raids, then do consider becoming a patron on on my Patreon. But yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Countinsula. Be safe, have fun, love yourself, and I'll catch you all later.